Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully the holidays were filled with joy and laughter and all the good things that come along with the holidays. Um, we're getting into 2024 and it's gonna be a crazy year. I, I have, have feelings that things are gonna get shaken up quite a bit. And um, I just wanted to share some thoughts on what the biggest gift, the carnivore diet, being animal-based has given me. And uh, this is a little bit of a reflection. Um, and yeah, we're going to get into it. The most important thing, I think, that the carnivore diet has done for me. Let's get into it. This is Anthony Stewart. This is Food for Thought. And we are questioning everything they've ever said. And that is no short thinking term <laughs> everything they've ever said and you know that gets me into uh why i feel this way and i am not a doctor i am not a scientist i am a normal guy who has done a complete 180 um, as far as health and you know i was studying to be a nutritionist and actually gave it up because of some things that i was my gut was telling me and it was I don't want to be the same cookie cutter dietitian nutritionist all this bullshit out there um, uh, frankly I don't believe with almost everything that my school was teaching me it, I was having a real tough time with with accepting getting an education for the sake of not saying anything that I was taught or te you know it's just it, it it was a tough situation and i mean i jumped into it pretty early they were told they i was told that you know they kind of accepted the keto narrative but they that turned out to be completely false and it was just the same regurg regurgitated garbage that i've come to realize is is wrong and um the biggest gift that the carnivore diet going carnivore did for me was Number one, being able to think. My brain is functioning again, probably better than ever in my life. Now, you can argue that it's, you know, the saturated fat. You can argue that it's the protein, the vitamins and the minerals. But I think it's a lot, a lot to do with all of it. And, you know, when your body gets the proper nutrition, it needs you change from survival to thriving. And I think that's what, what kind of did it for me. And, you know, this is my journey. Um, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on things. Um, I may not be correct with everything, but um, it's this is, you know, just to share my perspective and certain things. And when I tell you that my brain is, is alive and functioning, my ability to discern information and actually think things through critically is probably it's it's changed the most it's been the most dramatic thing that's changed since i i started eating this way now my my opinions have changed a little bit as far as what to eat how to eat it and i think the carnivore diet technically eliminates a lot of shit eliminates a lot of crap and it takes away some of the the stuff that your body just doesn't need and when you start giving your body what it does need your body just wants more of it and i think that's why this this way of eating has staying power because like all like all of us we've tried diets everybody has and they usually fail you lose a bunch of weight suffering and then you gain it all back in a couple years or whatever and I am now getting into my third year as eating this way, you know, well, over four years now, low carb. And, you know, it's amazing how my brain works and what nutrition, the nutrition whole industry, you can, I can just see now how everybody speaks in absolutes when they really don't know anything or they just are going on something they were taught. And there's so much nuance and so much context out there. It's very hard to, you know, you can prove anything now 
on on the internet and then or let alone it'll get deemed mis dis malinformation and my information my truth is mine and i you know i can't tell you exactly why my pre-diabetes have been resolved i can't exactly tell you why my physical composition is better than it's ever been in my whole life i can't explain to you exactly why i have a pretty good idea but why my 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 brain is working now but it is so when you're looking at a bunch of stories online about people that are doing things that are deemed pretty much impossible, then they get just the, the, the rug pulled out from under them saying that they're going to die earlier. I think that's, that, you know, for somebody who can't get out of bed to all of a sudden losing 100 pounds and feeling amazing every day, and they're, you, what, you're going to tell them they're doing something wrong? Well, there's a word for that. And I think uh, I'm going to hold back on actually calling it what it is. But... You know, to all the people out there that are doing things and making it, making a change, taking their power back, uh, that's what it's all about. And the, the nutrition has led me into other aspects of health about, you know, the foundations, breath work, sleeping, um, how these things are so important and so intertwined. And when you're just not working well, all the other things seem like a struggle. But when your body starts to work better and you're functional clear feeling amazing every day everything gets a little easier and you start to be inspired now learning about the nutritional the history of nutrition and how how the world works that's led me down to some rabbit holes about our civilization about our medical system about about religion and now it's funny how all these different healing and, and, and whether it's spiritual or physical healing activities, there was a, a, a big shift where it's all got pushed to allopathic medicine, drugs, and all these um, alternative that were kind of normal, even the tra traditional Chinese medicine and the Ayurveda and, you know, the homeopathy, all these things that are natural, cultural diverse systems of health have been pushed aside for the allopathic way and that should tell you something right there like why why is now the food that my great-grandparents ate killing me why why is everybody fat and sick yet back then they were all robust healthy and and vigorous i mean it doesn't take a rocket science scientist to figure out to at least ask some questions now, you can go to the clinic and get a pill. That's just going to numb you. Or you can start thinking. And unfortunately, I believe our nutrition system and our, our food system, the, the industrial food complex, if you will, is hijacking your ability to think properly. Brain fog, chronic fatigue, all these neurological disorders... They're even calling dementia type 3 diabetes. Go figure. That's sugar. Someone's saying, now they're telling us that red meat causes diabetes. Well, if you know anything about how glucose and how, what elevates your glucose in your bloodstream and makes it bad, well, meat, that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, you know, this. I'm wishing everybody the best of luck in this, this year. Um... It's going to be weird. It might maybe a rocky road, but I'm going to urge you to stick to your guns. We have to fight for what we believe is right and the freedom to do so. And anybody who wants to do something for their own health should be in, in, their, in their, their human rights to do so. Um, do, I, do I agree with everybody? No. But do I believe that everybody should have their choice to do what they deem is right? and have the ability to discern for themselves the right way to do so? Yes. So my message is for hope, for everybody. Thank you for being here. I will continue to do these videos and uh, we'll get into some crazy stuff in 2024. Stay strong.